Hi guys, you're here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today I'm gonna explain to you guys why we skipped some of the chords in our uh, series of the chords that we learned on guitar so far. And the reason that I'm not having my guitar in my hands for now, I'm gonna take my guitar in a moment, uh, but I'm gonna explain something first. There are a couple chords that we sort of skipped, but actually don't. Let me explain. So, I'm gonna show you guys through the keyboard of a piano, because that will be more clear, I think, than me showing it on guitar. All right, so let's go to the screen here where we see our keyboard of the piano right here. Normally you should see my arrow here. So on a piano, we have different octaves. That means that like we start off with the key A, then we end at the G. Then if we go higher, we start over again, but higher, another A to the G, another A to the G. And so we have multiple octaves. If we look at the keyboard of the piano, the A is, for example, right here. This is an A, but there are multiple A's. There is one lower than this right here. There's one higher than that right here. There's another one higher than that. And actually, this is not the whole keyboard of, uh, of a piano. The keyboard of a piano is much wider than this, so there are more octaves than this. But, like, take, for example, the A right here. If we start over there and make our octave, we actually go all the way to, let's say here, another A. So, all the notes here are the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we get back to A, but one higher. The black notes in here are the ones that we call the sharp or the flat keys. So this one could be both the A sharp or the B flat. This one could be the C sharp or the D flat. This one is the D sharp or the E flat. This is the F sharp or the G flat. And then finally we have the G sharp or the A flat right here. And these names might seem familiar to you if you watch the series of all those chords that we've seen. Because chords are, of course, based on a key. And in this case, all the chords that we've seen are based upon these keys. So the chord A, for example, is based on the key A. But so is AM. The A minor chord is also based on the key A. Then, for example... The C sharp chord is based on the C sharp. The C sharp minor chord is also based on the C sharp key. There are a lot of variations of each chord and we've just seen a couple of them, but the basic, the basic variations of those chords. But where I want to get with this is actually that in between the B and the C and in between the E and the F, there are no black keys here. There is no half a tone in between. So, the chords that I want to get to, that actually could theoretically exist, but actually are not used, are the B sharp chord, the C flat chord, the E sharp chord, and the F flat chord. And also, all those chords, but minor being the B sharp minor chord, the C flat minor chord, the E sharp minor chord, and the F flat minor chord. Why is that? Because let's take a look. The B sharp chord, for example, that's of course half a tone higher than the B. But if we go half a tone higher, we get the C note. So actually, if the C sharp chord would exist, it's actually the C chord. You get it? The same reverse, if we have the C flat chord, that's half a tone lower than the C, being the B chord, right? Then we have the same case with the E and with the F. So the E sharp chord would actually be the F chord. 
the F flat chord would actually be the E chord. And it's exactly the same with all the minor versions of those chords as well. Yeah? So we have already seen all those chords. But to keep it simple, we just use the B chord, the C chord, E chord, and the F chord. And all the same with the minor versions of those. So the B minor chord, C minor chord, the E minor chord, and the F minor chord. That's much easier, all right? Now, let me explain on guitar. Because we have seen all these chords already. Let's take, for example, the E chord, which is right here. And you can check the link somewhere above here to learn how to play that chord. But the E chord is right here. So if we want to make that an E sharp chord, we just have to move one fret up the arm. So add our index finger. But if we do that, you could call this the E sharp chord, but it's actually just the F chord, which we also have seen and learned. And the link for that will be somewhere above here as well. The other way around is just the same. If we start off with the F chord, and we want to make that an F flat chord, we just have to move back one fret, which makes the E chord. And the same is valid for the B and C chord, or the B sharp and the C flat chord. So I hope this clears up a little bit why these names for the chords are not used. It's much easier otherwise. So guys, now that we've covered all of that, we can link some chords together. And that's what I'm going to explain to you next week on guitar. All right? So stay tuned for that one, guys. I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget I have music videos and reaction videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. So today is a All right, so uh, on a P and then we have, and so it, and actually this is not the, the, so the chord A is based on the chord. So the chord A, for example, is based on the chord, but also C is also based on the C sharp chord. There are um, exist that actually could Theoretically, and it's the which we which we and we want them or the B flat and C sharp. Uh, why there are no why these chords are not why the names. So guys, next. So guys, next week I'm going to explain you. So next guy, all the may now that we cover now that we. We can see, we, we can start off by, uh, so, so, stay tuned, guide. Also, don't forget, I have music videos and